Hello and welcome to the Classic Car Restorer channel. Today we're going to be talking about the spray filler. Uh, basically, if you have a car that it's filled too much, let's say like that, too much, or you have plenty of patches of filler and you never can mix the filler by hand exactly the same, so you have difference in, under your hand that you can feel it, although it's straight after the sanding, you can use spray filler spray it two to five layers on it to equalize all the small, let's say, leveling mistakes. It's also excellent because it's a high build-up, so it's gonna pick up all the small holes. Uh, the only downside of it is it gives you more work. You need to sand everything back again, so, and you need to go with finer paper. Spray fill is also excellent if you got, want your job to look excellent. So if you want that perfection for paint job, you want to use it. It is a bit expensive. For example, here, here in Europe, Ireland, we're gonna, you're gonna spend around, let's say, 1,000 euros of materials to, to spray on, which you're gonna send back down again. So when you spray that spray filler on, again, check the data sheets for the, for the flash off times in between the hands, you can go two to, to five layers, but after you spray that, you can go with 120, 240 to finish. So you can see here, I finished here with 80, 120, and you can see all the stripes inside. So after sanding with 240, you get nice and smooth surface, which is ready for the primer. After sanding this, we're gonna be applying the primer on the car, and after primer is again sanding, sealing, and she's gonna be ready for painting. The other benefit of spraying the spray filler is, for example, on these lines that you need to get them perfectly aligned, you get that extra bit of material that you can sand it and make them really nice and sharp. So it gives, let's say, better prepping finish for paint job. And of course you need to fit all the elements on the car while you're sanding this because you kind of want to level all the surfaces together. And that would be about it. Now after we finish sanding all this and we apply the primer and sand the primer, we're gonna be starting the, to spray the car, but we're gonna go in a stages. Why we're gonna go in stages is to, to minimize the dust on the outer side. So we're gonna be spraying the engine bay, the underneath and the boot in one stage, inside and the roof from the inside in other stage. Then we're gonna be spraying the doors boots, bonnets, everything from the inside, then mounting that on the car and spraying in the final stage the car from the outside. Just so we get less dust and dirt in, 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 in final finish so the car looks nicer. So this would be it for this stage. Follow us for more. There's gonna be some more prep work here involved. Remember, 90% of the good paint job is just prep and prep. So follow us for next stage. Subscribe, like, See you in the next video.